Good morning, Chamberlain. Hope you are having a great week. The region has had so much stuff going on, it's impossible to get to everything. But I keep trying. So last week, we had a few chamber events and a lot of community events. This week, I am going to be talking about the Leeds Group Speed Networking event, Wheat's Bingo Fundraiser, the Good Child Development Center's Gala, Coldwell Banker's Pet Adoption event, and the Halloween Fall Festival run by the DMBA, and the Zombie Run run by Wababa. Like I said, it was a very busy week, so let's get started. Tuesday night, we had all the Leeds groups that the Chamber offers at the building complex in West Haven. This was a highly anticipated event, um, and it was very successful. We had 50 plus business leaders uh, in attendance, and everybody got a chance to meet each other in a structured setting. So we had members from the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Epic groups in attendance. So we started the evening with a quick introduction, sitting at tables where everyone was able to give their 30 second intro pitch, which was followed by a break uh, for socializing and a wonderful meal brought to us from the break wall. And if you haven't tried their mac and cheese, you are truly missing out. We then went back down to the main floor of the sports events complex and set the groups into rows of chairs facing each other to go deeper into their introductions. Many people made connections and we believe we will see some business coming out of this wonderful event. I want to big, give a big shout out to Sylvia and the whole building complex staff. They did a, I mean, like a superior job making the space ready for the event and they were very accommodating throughout the event. I will include a link to their website below and I highly recommend them as a space for all kinds of corporate events. Also, I want to say thanks to Katrina from the break wall. On Wednesday, I went to the wake of one of our members, Michael Vio Violetto. Mike was the owner of Vio Sports Plus, an amazing printer of clothing and promotional products. His impact on the region went well beyond his business. And he passed away doing what he loved most, coaching younger people playing hockey. Vio, you will be missed. After that, I headed over to Lorenzo's in West Haven for the Wheat Bingo Fundraiser. I saw a few chamber members while I was there, including Holla from New Haven Bank, Alan from West Haven Community House, and Michael, the ED of Wheat. Everyone was having a wonderful time, and there was a table overflowing with donated food and a beautiful collection of donated raffle prizes as well. If you missed the event but would still like to help, I will put Wheat's link in the description. So Wednesday night, I had the pleasure of going to the Wizard of Oz themed gala fundraiser for the Good Child Development Center. At the, and I did wear um, red ruby shoes, just so you know, people, um, because why wouldn't I go to an Oz themed event wearing red ruby shoes? The food was great, and the message was as well. The Good Child Development Center is dedicated to being a place for all children to become the best they can be. With an inclusive plan for education, they have ability to help young minds grow and stay open. I had a great time with all the chamber members at the event, including Dave from Ardmore, Giselle from GVAS Care Service, Steve from the Milford Orange Times, Debbie from Security National Mortgage, Will from Mercantes, D from Insur Insurance by D, Tracy from Stacy Blake, Wanda from State Farm, Carrie from Milford Body Therapy. And if you were there and I forgot you, uh, please accept my apologies. Great job, Lana. Saturday was another busy day in Milford. In the morning, I went to the Coldwell Banker Pet Adoption Day on the Green. They had so many groups there bringing so many beautiful animals. And if I wasn't already hosting a small zoo in my home, I probably would have left with a kitten. And then I walked over to the Halloween weekend fall festival hosted by the DMBA with so many fun activities for the whole family. Thank you, Tracy and Mary Jo, for putting together this amazing event. Between the two events, I was happy to see a lot of chamber members, uh, including Matt Laverci from Coldwell, Mayor G was there, Celeste from Spiritually Rich Creations, Tracy and Mary Jo, who I mentioned earlier, uh, Brian Smith from Wow Radio, and Heidi and Kurt from the School of Rock. The weather was perfect, and all in all, it was a super fun day. Saturday night, I headed over to Stonebridge to enjoy the party for the zombie run with the Rum Runners. Uh, the zombie run was a big success, and I strongly recommend volunteering next year to be a zombie. Check out in the link below. 
thank you, you and Susan um, and Tina for making this happen. After that, I headed over to Strega to get a bite to eat and ran into more chamber members. Seems like we are everywhere. Thank you, Denise, for the after dinner drink. This week will be busy too. Tonight, I will be at the epic event at Divine Beauty Salon and Spa. I am looking forward to seeing all the epic members and learn more about how to make my face look great for Halloween. Um, it, it's not that hard to make me into a monster, but anyway. So by the time this video goes live, pre-registration will be closed, but you can still purchase tickets at the door. Divine Beauty is located at 100 Lansdale Avenue. I look forward to seeing you all there. On Wednesday, we will be at Gregory Doyle Funeral Home with Mayor Tony G to cut a ribbon for their newly completed expansion, which includes a parking lot and so much more. Come by at 345 for the ribbon cutting at four. Say hello to Andrea and Moira and enjoy their hospitality. The Walnut Beach has a full slate of events for Halloween weekend, including the Walnut Beach Witch with a DJ and dancing as candy literally falls from the sky right in front of the Walnut Beach Creamery. Uh, that's at five o'clock. This is a great time. And if you haven't made it before, I strongly suggest getting there. On Friday at noon, we will be at James Walters Grooming to celebrate his first year in business. He is a fantastic barber and I need to see him very soon. Um, and a really nice guy too. Come join us for what will be a wonderful way to start your weekend. Later this month, we have the business after hours at Tropical Caribbean on Campbell Avenue in West Haven. If you haven't tried their food before, this is a great opportunity to see what you have been missing. The sign up link will be in the description below. Um, we have an exciting lunch and learn on the 14th as well. Please see the description for that below. I think that just about wraps up this week's roundup of events. There are lots of things going on in our region all the time. And the best way to find these events is on our community calendar. Remember, you can add your events to that calendar too. Thank you all, and I hope you have a good week. Take care of yourself and do what you can to make this community a little better than it was yesterday. Bye.